Hi everybody, welcome to the Baguette Investor channel for a new video about screeners. Today we're going to make not a screener tutorial, but a subscriber asked me a screener request on the Discord. So if you want to join the Discord, you can, the link is, is going to be in the description. And he asked me some help to build his own screener according to his own strategy. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to make this video as a tutorial for him and as a tutorial for you guys so you can uh, learn something from this uh, viewer's question. If you want to do the same, I'll start a series where I will do for every single question you have, you go into the Discord, go into the question channel and ask specifically the criteria you want for your screener. And if you don't know how to do it, I will make a tutorial for you so you can learn how to make it and I will make that a video and that will be able to spread the knowledge to everybody. So if you want to do it, join the Discord with the link in the description. It's going to be the first link right down below the video. First, we're going to start by looking at what he asked. So it's going to be very, very simple. You might think that this is a, uh, something very simple, but like if you don't know how to do it, it's always complicated. And when you know, it's always simple. So we're going to look at what he wants. So he wants a screener with the price above SMA 10, above EMA 20 and the RSI 12, but we're going to take the 14. He wants it to be above 45. So this is going to be very, very simple to make. We're going to go into trading view, open the little screener tab. Of course, he likes cryptocurrency, so I'm going to go into the cryptocurrency tab and we are going to go into the filter, adjust filters tab, which is the blue icon. We're going to type in SMA and we're going to try to see the 10. You can see there he asked for the SMA 10. So we're going to the SMA 10 and we want that to be below the last price. There you go. We have our first criteria. Then we'll go to the EMA and we want the 20. As you can see, he asked for the EMA 20. So we're going to go for the EMA 20, which is right there. And we're going, we want that below. Same thing, last price. There you go. You have EMA 20 below last price. The second criteria is, is good. And the last criteria is RSI 12 crossing 45 from below, which means RSI 12. We don't have as RSI 12 on trading view. We have RSI 14, but it's the same thing above 45. So you go there, you type RSI, you have RSI 14 or seven. We prefer the 14 as it's closer to 12. We put that into um, RSI being above and we type our value 45 and we're going to have all the things that are above 45. Of course, we are not done yet because those are the criteria, but you can't just do that. As you can see in trading view, you're going to have a, way too many matches. First thing we're going to always do is filter the exchange we're trading on. So if you trade on Binance, you tick the Binance thing that will reduce the number. The only, the other thing that we have that is not really good is that we have all the Bitcoin and Ethereum pairs displayed right there. So we're going to type in Tether, Tether US right there. We can do slash space Tether US. That will filter all the pairs into Tether US uh, that are going to be uh, in the uh, trading, the screener list. That's it. Sorry for the, my brain is lagging. So when you have done this, you can change also the trading list and what is displayed. So I like to sort by performance. So if you're trying to, there is a defined performance you have in there, the, the column settings. You can go there and be below overview, you can click on performance and you can change by uh, performance, past performance. So you have weekly performance, monthly performance, three months, six months, year to date and yearly. I remove year to date as I'm not really interested. I remove volatility and I make a custom one, but this is going to be just enough for you. So if you are looking for short term trading, like you select the one hour interval, for example, and search for the most bullish on the one week, of course, because we're in a bear market that is giving you uh, the down uh, crypto that make a lot of sense because everything is going down. But that's it. Uh, I hope you are interested into this. You have your screener that is made and that is scanning for the things that you wanted. So I hope you like this again. I'm telling you guys, if you want the same thing to be done for you, just link in the description and ask it there. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.